Well, I can tell you about the article we are writing for Harvard Business Review now because it's very much on my mind. Uh, we are proposing a way to approach the managerial decision making in many situations. And the idea is really quite simple. There are now procedures that we know work in the domain of candidate selection. That is, if you have, we know how Google selects people and we know that they've thought a lot about their procedure and the procedures are well established. Now, the way that we evaluate candidates is in general by a two-step approach. That is, we define some criteria you know, how intelligent the person is, how well that person is able to work with other people, and, you know, a number of such criteria. And we evaluate each of these assessments, we call them, separately. And then we make a final judgment. And that is in contrast to a one-step judgment, where you can collect the same information, but you go directly from the information to a final judgment. And the argument we're making in this article that I hope to publish in Harvard Business Review, they don't have it yet, we haven't sent it to them, and I don't know if they'll publish it, but uh, when, the argument that we're making is that when managers and executives make decisions, they typically use a one-step approach. And they typically collect facts, discuss the facts, and then they go to a decision. And there is real evidence that the two-step approach leads to better judgment. And the two-step approach could easily be applied to many decisions that managers make. And the evidence is that it might avoid some biases to which typical decisions are, su are susceptible. What I mean by two steps is that you break down the judgment. So, you know, we are, there's going to be a merger so we are evaluating, the board is evaluating whether to go through with the merger. Now, there are a number of judgments that will have to be made before you decide whether or not to go through with the merger. And the idea of a two-step procedure is that you make an explicit list of these judgments in advance, right. and you make each one of them explicitly and separately and independently of one another, and that you evaluate the proposition only when you have collected all these assessments. So the first step is to okay. collect separate judgments, and the second step is to evaluate the profile of these judgments and reach a final decision. That's how we select candidates in most places. And the idea is this is also probably a good way to select options in the decision situation.